Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end. Hello friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. So in today's video, this is going to be two days of cleaning. Um, starting off at my house, I was so behind on laundry. So that was the first thing I knew I had to get done on this day. But then the following day, I ended up going to my grandmother's house. She really wanted her cabinets cleaned in her kitchen. Um, and... I just wanted to go in there and get some spring cleaning done that I know she can't get done all on her own. But like I said, we're starting at my house today and then in just a little bit you're going to see us transition over to grandma's house. I do also want to give a big thanks to Nick's Play for sponsoring today's video. So on top of putting the boys clothes away I also had to make their beds <laughs> literally the night before both boys had brought down their bedding right before bed um, saying that they had spilt their drink in their bed which I'm like oh because I can't get their bedding washed that quickly especially since they literally brought it down right before bed so luckily their pillows were fine and we just threw some extra blankets on there and I washed their bedding um, overnight and in the morning so I had to put their beds back together but I swear it never fails I've tried to get them better at bringing their bedding down um, once a week to have it washed but the goal is to like do it in the morning so I have all day to clean it and get it back up there by bedtime but that definitely did not happen on this day. Also, I get a ton of questions about their bedding. So it is Betty's bedding. Um, I'm going to show a little bit closer up of their bedding just here in a second. But I love and swear by this bedding for kids because it's, one, super easy to clean and everything. But two, they can make their beds so easy in the morning and it just keeps their rooms looking so much more organized and clean when all they got to do is zip it up and their bed is made. If you can zip up a sleeping bag, you can make these beds. So we have been getting a lot of questions about if we have found a house in Florida yet. So at this point, we are just looking. We were working on getting our pre-approval and everything. Um, and in this market right now, offering on a house with a contingency like the sale of your house, there, it's just not happening. Any type of contingencies, I swear, are getting turned down. So we have been waiting... Um, until we have like really good on our house even though it's sold and everything because we haven't signed um, that would still be a contingency on an offer but we are looking if the right house pops up the nice thing is is my parents are in Florida and they're willing to go and look at any houses that we want um, and if we can't get down there to look at it, but I trust my mom and dad. If they say it's good, plus we love the photos, we'll probably make an offer on it from up here. But we do have time scheduled. We have plane tickets and everything to go down mid-May. Just Bobby, I, and Freya. The boys will be staying with my sister and their grandparents that weekend um, to go house hunting. So we're keeping our eye open. If something pops up before then, we'll definitely jump on it. But if not, that is the weekend. We are going mid-May and cross our fingers. <laughs> Good vibes that we find the house. I keep my arms out and hold you like before. We can fly.
if you're newer to my channel, you may not know what this little tool is that I'm using, but this is called a chom chom. This thing is amazing if you have animals in your house, cats, dogs, anything like that. It just catches any hair. It's kind of like a lint roller without having to deal with replacing the sticky paper all the time, and it works really well. Even though the dogs don't sleep in our bed, they do get fur still everywhere just from sleeping in our room. So I like to, before making our bed, go through and get as much of the fur off the bed as possible. Almost every time I show this little machine, people are always asking what it is. So this is an air purifier. I love this because it has the big HEPA filters on the inside, but it also has this fabric exterior that catches all the big particles of dust. So I replace that about once a week to get it washed. I'm hoping you can see how dirty this is. It does not show nearly as well on camera, but this thing gets full of dog hair and dust. So I will just replace it, wash it, and then a week from now, do it all over again. For too long, I gotta go, I gotta go. I grab my bag and hit the dash. Yeah, adios. I drop the clutch and slam the gas. And it's vomitos. If you're not first and you're in last, Ricky Bobby quote, you gotta know. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. Also, if you're ever wondering about something, I try and link as much as possible in my Amazon store. If you guys do not see it, just let me know. Um, also, a big apology. I did not get to that many comments from last week's video. Freya was teething, so she has been runny nose and just cranky um, all week. And Bjorn has actually been dealing, I think it's with the weather changing and everything. His asthma has been flaring up really bad. Um, and literally the day that video went live, he ended up needing like three nebulizer treatments, his inhaler a couple times. So we were, I was way more focused on being mom than any comments, but I do apologize for that. I really do try and get to you guys' comments as much as possible, but it's just kind of been a crazy, crazy week. guys are new here or if you just haven't seen any of my recent videos um, I and my family are actually moving to Florida this June um, we have sold our house it is sold it closes next week <laughs> um, we are staying though here until June 15th we have that set up where we would get post closing occupancy till June 6 15th um, but we sold the house along with all of the decor and furniture in it. So I am really excited for this move because it's going to be a brand new adventure getting to buy a new house and decorate it and do all the fun stuff of a brand new place. You will always find how to go on. Yeah. 
So this was a couple hours later, but I was moving on to the downstairs to get it all cleaned. I do once again want to thank Nick's Play for sponsoring today's video. I was very, very excited to come across Nick's Play. I don't know about you, but my mother-in-law is very, very difficult to shop for. Um, when it comes to birthdays, holidays, Mother's Day, she's always very difficult to shop for just because she doesn't have like a lot of things she needs and wants. So when I found Nick's Play, I was so excited, especially with our move to Florida. It comes in this beautiful wood grain frame, or you can get a black frame. What I love about it is when you connect to it with the app, which was very, very easy to set up, you can add whatever photos you want from it. So while we're in Florida at the beach taking pictures of the kids, we can upload those videos right away to the app and it will pop up on the screen up here in Wisconsin for their grandma and grandpa to see. I also like that it you can have an email attached with it so Bobby's brother or sister or anyone like that can email photos to the frame as well of their kids. So it makes it super simple to keep any of the grandma and grandpas up to date. And I'm really excited because Nick's Play is offering you $10 off on top of any existing offers on their site. So if you check out my link in the description and use my code, like I said, you can get $10 off on anything on top of any existing offers. I think that's huge because often you find these offers where it's like $10 off and that's it. No, they have a huge Mother's Day sale going on right now and this is on top of that Mother's Day sale. So definitely go check them out when you are done with this video. It's the perfect Mother's Day gift or birthday gift or any type of event you have coming up. I will also be getting one for myself because after setting that up, because I wanted to have it all set up for her when we gave it to her, I fell in love with it and now I want my own. So it's definitely something I'm going to be getting as well. So Xander has just gone to where he has figured out how to make his own frozen pizzas, which is really nice as a mom when you have your kids getting to an age where they can make themselves lunch or something by themselves without always asking for you. But I have to say he makes a huge mess. So keeping the kitchen clean is a little bit harder because all he worries about is getting himself some food. Um, so... I let it go because I do like the fact that he's trying to be more independent with making food and stuff and things like that. I know right around his age is when I started cooking dinner and stuff like that for my family. So I don't want to discourage that, but it definitely makes the whole process of cleaning the kitchen a little bit harder when you're cleaning up after a nine-year-old. So I am using the Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser on the stove and in the sink. I always like to rub it on, let it sit for a couple of minutes, which is why you saw me go from the sink to the stove, back to the sink, back to the stove, is because I like to let it sit and then go in and scrub it and rinse it down. I feel like it just really loosens up anything that is stuck on there, as well as it always gives a really pretty shine. So pure I had no fear And those were the years That I hold so dear And it felt so right Having you by my side I would never waste your time So I've been seeing all these little folding hacks on TikTok lately and I wanted to try this one out for my 
hand towels in the kitchen. It's really nice because it holds them tight and they don't unravel. However, the only issue is, and you'll see it in a second when I go to put them in the drawers, they don't quite fit nicely in the drawers. However, I do like the way it's full. So it might be worth them not fitting 100% or me having to like finagle it to figure out exactly how it will fit because I like that they don't unravel and my kids like to go in there and just grab one and they'll accidentally grab like three of them and then they're all unrolled and this was a very nice way to get them so that they're in there they look really nice and they're not going to end up being a huge mess in the drawer anything that you would tell me I just couldn't wait to This dining room table is always a mess. As you can see, the boys are always playing their um, computer games at the dining room table or doing homework or playing with Roblox toys, eating. Literally anything and everything happens at this dining room table. So I'm always cleaning it up, putting stuff back where it belongs. Um, when the kids aren't around, I like to just set their computers in the laundry room. That way it's easy for them to get at it when they get home, but I don't have to stare at it all when they're not around. But then moving into clean up Freya's tray, you're going to see in just a little bit though. I literally got this cleaned and not 10 minutes later, she saw it in the laundry room and wanted more food. So <laughs> nothing stays clean for long, that's for sure. Um, but it didn't need to get really cleaned because I clean this regularly, but she's a messy eater. If you guys followed me on Instagram, you would have seen the other day she gave herself a yogurt hair mask because she was done eating and what better place to put your yogurt than in your hair, right? Protein, something like that makes it shiny. So I asked you guys in, I believe, last week's video to give me ideas for a little gift basket for the new owners. And a lot of you guys were saying just to leave like my cleaning favorites. And I actually love that idea. I was trying to figure something out um, that would work best. But I could easily do that where I leave a couple of my favorite essential oils, my thieves cleaner, obviously new containers, not old ones. But I really, really like that idea. So that's what I think I'm going to do here. You can see, <laughs> like I said before, Freya decided she was hungry again. So just giving her her cup and some yogurt. That way she can stay seated nicely watching, of course, Coco Melon. And I could finish getting this downstairs tidied up. So in our house, this front window, right around four, the sun starts really beating in. So I usually shut that curtain around four o'clock because it will literally be blaring in your eyes. But that's why I love these white curtains. They keep out enough light that you don't have to worry about squinting in your own house. But they still let in enough light that it's not like dark in our house when I shut the curtains mid-afternoon but that's why you're seeing that curtain shut it is 
that time of day where the sun is beating through that front window it also helps to keep the house cooler as it gets warmer but here we are the next day i'm actually at my grandma's house i will say i was hoping to get a lot more done at her house than i did this day i ended up spending three hours um but between chit chatting and cleaning and everything i was only able to work in the kitchen and the eat-in portion of the kitchen but i know she greatly appreciated it i do want to get back out there before we move and just help with more of the spring cleaning stuff that she can't really get to she does have um cleaning ladies come in once a month to help her out in the house but they don't do these like deep cleaning projects. It's dusting and baseboards and mopping, just the basics about once a month. So I would like to come back here and do her carpets and everything like that and just give it a more thorough deep clean. But here you can see a lot of my time was spent chit chatting with her while she sat in the family room. She was actually in a lot of pain because her sciatic nerve was acting up. So she sat in there just trying to not be sore as I got to work cleaning up her kitchen. Now, you guys know I love my cleaning products. Like, I love trying new stuff. I love anything that smells good. Like, I love using new stuff. However, I want to point out, and this is the perfect example, that you don't need all the fancy things. I obviously was not going to, like, pack up my entire collection of cleaning supplies to come over to my grandma's house. So, I brought Tide. I brought some... Um, fabuloso. I bought my mucket, my <laughs> mucket, bucket and mop, um, some microfiber cloths and, um, my shampooer with the carpet shampoo stuff to go in it. And that was it. I did use her Dawn power wash and a couple things like that. But for the most part, I used my mixture of Tide and Fabuloso to clean the cabinets, to clean the floors, the only thing I had to stay on top of was rinsing out the bucket and replacing the water as needed. But you do not need all the fancy supplies. You guys get yourself a really good multi-purpose cleaner, a really good window cleaner, um, and those couple basics. A good cream cleanser I would always recommend for getting tougher areas, getting your sink, getting your stove, things like that. But you don't need all the fancy things that you see here on these videos. Like I said, I love it. It makes cleaning fun for me and interesting. And you guys know I don't love cleaning. I just love having a clean house. So anything that will make it fun is something that I will do. But you can definitely get it done. And often, just some good elbow grease and back to the basics does the best of job. So while I was at my grandma's house, one of the things she was talking about is wanting to redo these cabinets. They are original to this house. They are beautiful cabinets. Um, solid wood, really good condition. So I told her to modernize them. All she would have to do is sand them down and either restain them 
or because they do need to get refinished. They're starting to get that like gummy, sticky feeling from the finish getting old. Um, but otherwise, they're in great shape. And the style of them really are a fairly modern style as long as she would change the hardware. So I would love to know in the comments below, what do you think my grandma should do to these cabinets? I know she wants to do something, which means it'll probably be <laughs> my siblings or my uncles helping her out with something, but just something to modernize this kitchen. As you can see, she has newer countertops, um, and the floors in her house have been redone, and they are beautiful, but just something to give this kitchen a little bit more of a pop and pizzazz. Another question I have been getting a ton of is when are we going to start up my hoarder series again? And my goal is to start up my hoarder series once we are in Florida. That is my goal. If you guys have been with my channel for a while, you know I did it for about a year. And then I got pregnant with Freya, so I stopped. And literally right after stopping with Freya, COVID hit. So it kind of worked out perfectly. Um, and then since COVID and having a baby and everything, I just haven't been able to start it up again, but I do want to start it up again in Florida. So if you want to message me on Instagram, if you want help, if you're going to be, <sighs> our goal is to be near Flagler or Volusia County, and I would like to stay within an hour um, traveling wise. So if you are down in Florida and you want some help, message me on Instagram and I'm going to try and start like getting a list together. Um, that way, once we get down there, however, my other thing is I really don't want to call it a hoarder series anymore because a lot of people that I've already been talking to, it's not so much hoarders as much as people that got really overwhelmed, especially since COVID, and just don't know how to get back to the beginning again. Like, they were saying they were doing so well, COVID hit, and it just, depression hit, anxiety hit, and life just got crazy. So, I'm going to try and think of a new name to put it under because I don't think hoarders is going to fit the feel once I'm in Florida. I was actually super excited to clean this rug. I knew it really needed a good cleaning. So I first went in and gave it a really good vacuuming and then went in with my carpet shampooer. But you are going to be maybe not shocked, but like seeing how dirty the water was after cleaning this rug, it was very, very satisfying. I wish I could have gotten this table out of this room to clean it, but unfortunately, none of the doorways were big enough to do it. Um, so I'm pretty sure it would have been a two-man job to lift it over the counters. And needless to say, Grandma was in no position to help me move this table. We don't belong here. 
I want more out of life The longer we stay here Our boots get stuck in the mud Let's pack up a life, baby And call it a night Cause the longer we stay here The harder the fight I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but the past goodbye. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different with going over and helping out grandma, but I was really happy to get this done. I've been trying to make time to go and do this for a couple of weeks now, and this day was literally perfect to just go over there and help her out. Like I said, I will be going back over to grandma's house, hopefully, to get some more deep cleaning done for spring before we move. I just want to be able to help her out as much as possible. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. I love doing cleaning motivation on this channel. Um, we have a big move coming up. Hopefully, crossing our fingers, we'll have a house soon. And probably have a lot of decorating and DIY videos coming up. Because, like I said, we have no furniture and no decorations coming with us to Florida. So, lots and lots to do there. So, if you are new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you aren't new and you are already subscribed, make sure you to check your notification bell. I've been getting a lot of messages lately of people saying they haven't been getting notified. And often it's because the notifica notification bell has been clicked off which is to no fault to yours i just know sometimes youtube turns them off i don't know why but i know that it happens so if you haven't been getting notified no i post every single friday at 9 a.m central and check that notification bell if you need also don't forget to check out nick's play link is in my description it will be the perfect mother's day gift for anyone in your life i guarantee it but until next time, bye.